I'm going to show you this. It's cool. Lesson one. Know. Basic hip. Have you ever played it? Basic to hip is the concept of digging to dig. Mr. Geets Romo, how would you define dig? Well, you know, man, like when you dig something. Uh, uh, well, yes. But, but dig, it's, baby. It's like, that, you know, right? when you dig some chick or some cat. Yeah. You know, when you pick up on something, you dig it, you dig. To dig, then, would mean to like, to understand, or to oh. appreciate. Dig. It's like, no, it's more like uh, in music, you dig. You know what is a quarter tone? Like, you get a note in there between C and C sharp, and that's its own sound, you know? I mean, you can't call it C because it isn't. That's like dig. Dig means dig. Like, if you don't dig and you say dig, I dig we are. Like, I'm the wrong cat, it's the wrong word. Dig? And ladies and gentlemen, now you begin to see one of our problems with the hip language. Each hip word or phrase carries with it an implication of the speaker's background and his involvement in hip society. In other words, the phrase, I dig, not only means I understand, but I am a special sort of person who understands in a very special way. Yeah, that is exactly what I say. In other words, I'm saying, I am hip. Dig yourself, baby. Yeah, you well, how'd you like J.I. Lynn in this film? <laughs>